Okay, this is what we did uh, last time. So we're just going to improve on this uh, program. Okay, so last time what we did was uh, uh, so just to recap, right? Uh, what we actually did last time was this, you know, print an exchange rate table for one dollar, you get forty six two point three rupees, two dollars forty four point six, and three dollars and then twenty six point nine rupees. So this is exactly what you know what we printed last time. Okay, so this is a program that is printed. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, Logical, nothing logic or intelligence in this program. We just going to print, you know, uh, print one and a tab and you print one two point three. And that's how we printed everything. So let's just add more logic, uh, okay, into this program, okay. So that's what we are doing, okay. So see this, as you understand, right? This table has a bit of repetition. So for our repetitions, uh, we have a construct and C called while, okay. What while it actually does is repeats. Okay, so repeat as as many times as it wants. So now, if whatever you write inside this is going to repeat in an infinite loop, okay. Uh, but so if we are going to uh, while uh, whatever we write inside while now, okay, uh, it's just going to be an infinite loop, okay. But we really don't want an infinite loop, okay. So we actually want a condition. We're going to add a condition, okay. What is the condition we're going to add? We're going to add uh, dollar less dollar as long as you know the dollar for example we're going to print only uh, one two three four dollars right so you know, upper dollar so it's the upper limit of the dollar okay and we're going to calculate the rupee how much is the value of a rupee P -A -P equal to dollar into exchange rate What we notice here uh, is very simple. Okay, this is just a small mathematical calculation. Okay, uh, we're going to store the, va the value of rupee inside the variable rupee, and uh, let's say dollar every time has uh, stores either one, two, or three as it goes. Okay, and now uh, we have to print this. Okay, printf uh, dollar. That is this. Uh, so how we print this? That this percentage d slash t percentage d slash n okay and um, this is just a syntax okay so, okay so what you are basically saying is you going to calculate the value of the rupee okay here and using this uh, line and you are going to print the rupee okay how we are going to print is this. We are going to print the value of percentage D is to print any integer. Okay. So, what integer it prints? It basically prints dollar. Okay. And again, uh, for example, the first percentage D corresponds to this dollar. Okay. Corresponds to dollar, and the second percentage D corresponds to rupee. Okay. So, that's what gets printed. Okay. So, what now? What we're going to do is this. Um, so this dollar, uh, let's say initially the dollar is one, okay, and now dollar into exchange. Let's say the exchange rate is forty-two point three. Now one into forty-two point three equal to uh, rupee. That is rupee will be forty-two point three. Next time, what we want is we want dollar to be two, okay. So we're going to do dollar equal to dollar equal to dollar plus one, okay. So but sometimes, right? Uh, we want dollar to be dollar to be step by one or uh, dollar step by two. For example, we want first time the dollar to be one and then two and three, and next time we will want dollar to be two, four, six, eight like that. Okay, so uh, just to be able to you know change that, we are instead of one we are going to write step. Okay, we are going to change the value. We are going to assign these values. Okay, uh, later now this is going to print us uh, our table. Okay, uh, but before that. Uh, we need to do a few things. See, whatever these names you are given, right? Dollar, upper underscore dollar, rupee, okay, exchange rate. These are all called uh, variables inside a C program. Okay, so let's uh, now define these variables and assign values to these variables. So this program makes more sense. Okay, that's what we're going to do now. Okay, um, we're going to define them as integers. Okay, integers int as is integer now we're going to define rupee rupee dollar 
okay and we are going to design upper dollar okay and we are going to define exchange rate in exchange rate exchange rate and uh, we are going to define step okay now we, what we have basically done in these two lines is we have declared to the C program that these are all variables and of type int what it means is this can store values of type integer okay now let's store values in this okay initially let it be zero because can be anything and dollar is initially zero is one okay and it can go up uh, we want let's say we want to print uh, five values okay we want to print one to five okay that will be upper dollar equal to uh, five okay we're going to print one to five and exchange rate exchange rate let it be 42.3 okay and step that means we will step through one that means after one we we'll get two three 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 afterwards three four okay so if step is four it will be after one it will be three five like that okay so this is will be our simple uh, program for example see few of things we introduced is variables assignment arithmetic expressions while conditional expression a host of other things okay now let's say let's see this program in actual action okay so mm. okay now uh, gcc has uh, stored it as exchange at v1 So as you see right it prints uh, as it was printed okay so this is the modification of the program okay now we're going to end